Being a scientist often means collecting a lot of data. Lots and lots of data. Back in the good old days, we'd have to do everything by hand. Let's say I wanted to measure the temperature outside over the course of a minute. That would mean staring at this thermometer and writing down its reading every second. From that data, I could create a graph showing how the temperature changed. Luckily, we can automate this menial task. We'll just have the micro bit do it for us. With just the micro bit, we can collect different types of measurements, including movement, light, and magnetism. For this episode, I'm going to focus on collecting temperature data as an example. I'll show you three different ways you can collect data with the micro bit. The first is to display the measurement data directly on the micro bit's LED screen. The second is to stream data from the micro bit to your computer over a USB cable. And the third is to stream data from one micro bit to another using the radio feature. The easiest is to just scroll a number across the LED array. In MakeCode, drag a show number block from basic to the forever block. Then go into input and grab a temperature block. Snap it inside the show number block. I recommend adding a pause block from basic under show number so that the numbers do not appear to run together. Let's change the pause to one second. With this, the micro bit will display the measured temperature every second. Let's download this and copy it to our micro bit. While we're able to use the micro bit to read the temperature, it's not much better than my old school thermometer. I still need to read the temperature every second and write it down in my notebook. To fix this, we're going to have our micro bit connected to our computer. We'll write a program that takes a temperature measurement using the thermometer built into the micro bit and then send that measurement over to our computer where we can store and analyze it. Note that this technique only works on browsers that support web USB. Right now, that's just Chrome, but other browsers will hopefully support it in the future. You can also use the MakeCode app for Windows 10. Additionally, you will want to make sure that you have the latest firmware running on your micro bit. If not, you will need to follow the firmware upgrade guide. To get to the guide from MakeCode, click on the gear icon and click Pair Device. In the pop-up box, click on Help and you will be taken to the Web USB page. Here, you can see which browsers support Web USB. From there, click on the link under Prepare Your Micro Bit to see the instructions for updating the firmware on your micro bit. With the micro bit plugged into your computer, navigate to its drive in a file explorer window. Open details.txt and look for version or interface version. This number should be 0249 or higher. If not, you will want to go to the Make Code Web USB troubleshooting page and follow the directions to upgrade the firmware on your micro bit. In a new Make Code project, click on the Advanced section and go into Serial. Drag a Serial Write Value block to Forever. This will allow us to send data back to our computer over the USB cable. Change the default X to the word Celsius, which will help us remember the units. Go to input and drag a temperature block to the other variable slot in serial write. Finally, get a pause block from basic and drop it under serial write. Change the pause value to 1000 milliseconds. Assuming you're using MakeCode in Chrome, you can click on the gear icon and select Pair Device. Click the Pair Device button on the pop-up. If Chrome gives you another pop-up window asking for permission, select the micro bit device and click Connect. When you click download this time, your program is immediately saved to your micro bit, no more having to drag the file over to the drive in a separate window. Once you've done that, you should see a new show console device button appear, which will give you the serial output from the micro bit. Notice that there is a show console simulator button above it. If you don't have data coming in from a real micro bit, you can use this to stream fake data from the simulator running in the browser. Go ahead and click the Show Console Device button. Try moving the micro bit around or lightly breathing on it to change the temperature. When you're done collecting data, you can press the pause button to stop and then click Export Data to download your measurements. Notice that the data is saved as a CSV or Comma Separated Values file. Using a spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel, we can import the data so we can analyze it. Let's highlight the data and make a graph. You can see how the temperature changed over time and where I breathed on the sensor to make it fluctuate. Logging data with your computer is a great way to take measurements automatically, but sometimes you want to be able to put the micro bit in a space where your whole computer won't fit. Or maybe you want to keep working on your computer away from the collection site. For this to work, we need two separate micro bits. The first will be our remote. This one will take temperature measurements and then send those values to the second micro bit using the radio feature. 
the receiver micro bit will then send the data directly to the computer, just like we did in the last example. Let's make our remote sensor first. Go to basic and drag a show string block to on start. Change the string to remote. This will help us tell the micro bits apart. From radio, grab a radio set group block and snap it under show string. Change the radio group number to something you will remember. It will need to match the group number on the receiver. In variables, make a new variable named temperature. Get a set temperature block and put it inside the forever block. Go into input, get a temperature block, and snap it to the right side of the set temperature variable block. From radio again, get a radio send number block and attach it under the set variable block. Get a temperature variable block and snap it inside the send number block. Grab a show number block from basic and snap it under radio send number. Get another temperature variable and place it inside the show number block. Get a pause block from basic and put it under the send number block. Change the delay to one second. Give your project a name like temperature remote and download it to your first micro bit. Unplug the micro bit from your computer and put it aside for now. Plug a second micro bit into your computer. In a new project, drag show string to on start and change it to display the text receiver. From radio, put a set group block under show string. Change the group number to match the one we set for the remote. Back in radio, get an on radio received number block and drop it in the workplace. Go into LED and grab a toggle XY block. Put it in on radio received and change the X and Y coordinates to 4 and 4. This will cause the bottom right LED on the micro bit to blink whenever we receive a message, which can help us know that our program is working. From serial, put a serial write value block in the radio received block. Change the string to Celsius and drag the received number variable to the number parameter of the serial write value block. Now, whenever this micro bit gets a temperature value from the remote, it will immediately send it over the USB cable to our computer. Change the project name to something like temperature receiver so we can keep the two projects apart. Since we're using a new micro bit, we'll need to perform the pairing steps again. After that's done, click download to send the program to your receiver micro bit. Plug a battery pack into the first micro bit. It should scroll remote across the front and begin sending data wirelessly to the receiver micro bit. The remote micro bit will scroll the value each time it transmits, and the receiver will toggle its bottom right LED to let you know that it has received data. You can then place the remote micro bit anywhere you want to collect temperature data so long as it's in range of the receiver. As soon as the receiver gets data, you should see the Show Console button pop up. Click it to get a graph of the temperature data as it's being received. Try lightly breathing on the back of the remote micro bit to see the temperature move. Once again, you can download this data and open it in a spreadsheet to analyze it. The micro bit is a great tool for helping us collect data, and collecting data is super important in our science journey. If you're looking for project ideas, I highly recommend heading to the UCP Science Experiments site on MakeCode. They've got lots of fun projects that use many of the different sensors built into the micro bit. Good luck, my fellow scientists. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go back to measuring the temperature of my backyard.